why yes means yes um, versus no means no. Because as we were just saying, there are times when, when people can't say no. There are times when people are too scared to say no. There are times when people are too inebriated to say no. There are times when, 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 um, when, when, when you know, yes means yes isn't, isn't, it doesn't mean that we have to get signed forms in triplicate. Mm -hmm. What it's saying is to talk to your partner. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they're okay. And if there are signs that they are not okay, please ask. It, it, it is not a, um, uh, it, it's not a that complicated of a, of a concept, really. Uh, when you talk to college campuses, most people there get it because they're living in a culture that is not working for them right now. Um, you know, I talk to my five-year-old about consent. Okay. I don't talk about sex. I say, mm -hmm. but I do say that if um, if someone touches you uh, and you don't want to be touched, to tell somebody. And mm -hmm. I also tell him that he shouldn't touch somebody without their permission. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go up and just randomly grab at somebody or tickle them or do any of those things without their permission. Mm -hmm. And so. It, it, we're not saying that no means no isn't part of that. Right. We're just okay. saying beyond that to respect your partner and also get so, up, making sure you have. So let me get yes. this straight. So if I go to touch you, if I go to touch your leg, and you don't, you don't say no because you're afraid. You're like, I don't know if I want to tell Deborah no. If I go to touch your leg and you don't say anything, I haven't gotten an affirmative com consent from you to touch your leg. Basically, so uh, I need to not. Listen, touching my leg is not sexual assault. I think that there is probably some basic uh, respect issues you might have there. But as we're looking at our presidential election, obviously, there are, there, where one of our major presidential candidates openly bragged about sexually, uh, sexually assaulting women, that he could just walk up and grab them because that's what they'd want because he's a celebrity, they wouldn't stop them. Mm -hmm. That shows the mindset that we have among many men right now. We have, a, there's a belief out there that they have a right to do whatever they want as long as a woman doesn't, doesn't actually mm -hmm. physically stop them from doing it. Mm -hmm. That's not the right mindset to have. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's obviously not working. Anyone that would go to our college campus and look what's happening to women there, mm -hmm. especially in the first two years that they're there, especially in the first year, and especially even worse in the first six months. 64% of the rapes that happen on campus happen in the first six months that someone's there. We have a cultural problem. Mm -hmm. We have to change it. And we are teaching no means no, and it's obviously not enough. Mm -hmm. We have to move forward by teaching people to respect each other. I mean, I, I know that we can get into all the legalese if I touch your leg, if I do that. I'm not yeah. saying, yeah. What, what, what we're basically saying more than anything else is to talk to your partner, have conversations. Mm -hmm. Actually don't assume that you have the right to their body. It's, it, it shouldn't be that complex of a question. And so when you hear, you know, you brought up, you brought up Trump, and I'm sure there are situations, um, you know, especially where uh, you're working for someone, and you're working for someone who has a, a lot of clout or could help you get somewhere, like Trump is in that position, and I'm sure women felt like they couldn't say no. Um, and so I think that was a good example that you brought up, and, a, you know, a terrible example for our children to see something like that or to sure. have a leader in, in that position. Absolutely. Um, so what can we do as parents? Because um, it can't all be on the person who's being perp perp perpetrated. What can we do um, to change the rape culture? I mean, that whole hashtag rape culture is all, is all over everywhere. And, and we do live in this in this rape culture where it does need to be changed. What can what can we do with, you talk you talk to your five-year-old. Yeah, I have three. You know, I have what three, can we say and, and do with our kids? I have three boys and one girl. And I think oftentimes we talk to our girls a lot more about it than we talk to our to our boys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, telling people that, that they, when they go out of college, don't walk out at night. Mm -hmm. You know, carry your keys between your, your mm -hmm. fingers. Uh, carry pepper spray, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. First of all, most rapes aren't d somebody jumping in the middle of the night. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. it does. But most of them are actually somebody you know, 80% are somebody mm -hmm. you actually know. Um, and, and a lot of, it, mostly girls, and a lot of girls would say, well, why do I even have to worry about that? Why is it on me yeah, well, to protect myself? No, I'm, I, why I, aren't I, they not and I agree doing we, what they're doing? We shouldn't live in a culture where that has to be the case. Yeah. And so I talk to my boys about just as much, that they have, they have a responsibility, and my boys are too young to really have an in-depth sex talk with. Mm -hmm. uh, although my oldest is, is 11, so we're getting there. Mm -hmm. but, but, but what we talk about is 
not touching someone unless they want to be touched. Mm -hmm. If somebody says, you know, uh, my daughter got uh, got in trouble because she got in a fight with a girl because she put a goldfish down her back, mm -hmm. and she tried to do it again, she yelled no. Mm -hmm. And I and she she said, well, I was I felt bad because the person was mad at me for saying no. And I said, you should never feel bad for saying no. Mm -hmm. You have a right to your own body. You mm -hmm. have a right, always, to protect yourself. To say that you don't want somebody to do something to you. That is yours. You have every right to do that. But I think we can go just a step further by saying that you don't have a right to touch anyone else without their permission either. Mm -hmm. And that's what I talk about my kid, to my kids about. And I'm hoping that eventually we can talk about it in our school district. It's, there's a video online, the T video. I hope the T video, you know, let's share which it again. It's very, it's, it's very easy. I, I don't think consent. It's very easily explained with the T video. I think it makes, per I, I yeah. think we could show that in our high schools and actually yeah. it would probably go a long way. It would. The, uh, just the idea that, that, you know, if someone says they don't want tea, don't give them tea. Same thing with sex. Mm -hmm. And I and and, and if so, they say they want it and they change their mind, you don't force tea down their throat. Of course not. I yeah. mean, that's, that's it's the same concept. Same, it, 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 what's funny about it is that when you when you talk about it in terms of sex, mm -hmm. that's when it gets complicated. Somehow there's somehow there's, there's this, a gray there, there's line a gray, somewhere, yeah. and there's because not. under no other situation, you know, I mean, where you found somebody passed out, the mm -hmm. answer is to call the police, right? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't try to do anything else. You wouldn't try oh, to pour tea. Oh, they're out. Let me see how much I can do to them. Yeah, no one, no other situation, even, right? But, yeah. you know, but you know, or you know, um, they did polls. I mean, it's it is so scary when you look at some of these poll numbers about people that were they, they asked high school seniors about. Um, well, if you spend a lot of money on, on a girl, are you entitled to have sex with her? Or if you <laughs> if if she turns you on, are you entitled to? Mm -hmm. If she does one thing, is she entitled to something else? And the polling numbers are very scary, not only among boys, but among girls that feel this way. Mm -hmm. that, they, that, that they have lost right to their own agency. And that's wrong. We mm -hmm. need to do a better job of teaching people basic respect for each, not themselves and their partners. And if we don't do that, we're never going to solve this problem. So this is Senate Bill 512. What, what's next? Where, where does it go next? What's, um, what's the uphill battle? So we have Republican co-sponsors, and I've gotten some recent, very good indications that we might be moving Republican leadership. So, uh, you know, every bill dies at the end of the session. This yeah. will be our first reintroduction, reintroduction when we get back in January, and uh, I believe we will get a committee hearing next year. and We'll get it out of the Senate. Okay. Um, and uh, then we'll push to get it through the House. Any any other final thoughts on the yes means? Mm -hmm. Yes, campaign. No, I, I, I think it's something we need to get done. And um, I'm looking forward to continuing to have the conversation with people. And I think we've done a great job. We, you know, those videos we did had 100,000 views across mm -hmm. the state. And I think it does show that there is certainly a lot of interest in these issues. And it's something we need to work on. All right, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.